I didn't think that would work. What was it I just put in that safe? Well, it's a brand new product by SecureRAM that are actually measure the temperature, the humidity, whether or not the door is open, and whether or not the safe is being hit by any external forces. That's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm Robert, and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. We're testing a brand new product by SecureRAM. SecureRAM in the industry is very well known for safe locks, but this will actually monitor a set of conditions inside your safe to tell you whether or not something in your safe has gone wrong. Now, the Secure Ramp Safe Monitor monitors four things. It monitors for vibration. Has this unit been jostled with? It monitors whether or not the door in your safe has been opened, whether or not the temperature inside of your safe has exceeded whatever settings you've provided, and whether or not the humidity has exceeded any of the settings you provided. This is a brand new product by Secure Ram. It can be found on Amazon. It's priced right around $200. And it has some other uses as well. You might wanna use it for a safe, but you might wanna use it for something else. If you have a wine cellar and you're worried about temperature and humidity of your wine collection, this is a great little unit for that. If you have a cigar humidor and you're worried about temperature and humidity of that, you can use this to monitor that as well. So even though it's designed from safes, I think it has some other applications for it. And it does all that by notifying you via app you have installed on your phone. This is the exact same app I used when I tested the new Secure Ram Smart Deadbolt. If you haven't seen that review, that smart deadbolt. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. It was a really nice lock. And let's take a look at how you can adjust the settings. This is your snapshot screen. What I'm seeing right here is I got the temperature at about 81 degrees, humidity at 47%. You can see it's giving me the battery indication, how well my uh, charge on my batteries are, as well as the Wi-Fi signal, the strength of the Wi-Fi signal currently at the unit. If I go into the settings, I have several parameters I can adjust. I can adjust the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and you just click and drag this to set your temperature range, the humidity range, whether or not you want the light detection of the unit on, that's the door open, the door closed. You have a vibration sensitivity. That sensitivity is low, medium, or high. And you also have a communication interval. The communication interval is set for six hours, 12 hours, or 24 hours. Now, very important point here, that communication level is under general conditions. If I have it set for six hours, every six hours, it'll take a snapshot inside my safe and it'll send that information out to my phone and it'll update this window right here. If there is an alarm condition, you'll get that immediately. But under general conditions, that setting that we just talked about there for the communication level, it'll come out to you six, 12, 24 hours, and that's just for battery life. The other thing that's kind of important to note on this is when you get an alarm condition in the unit, you're only gonna get that once every five minutes because if the temperature, for example, goes out of range, you don't want that pinging your phone all the time because your batteries in the unit are gonna die right away. This is the light sensor on the unit, so this is what's detecting whether or not the door is open. And then on this side, you have your reset button. The reset button is good, by the way, if you wanna force an update of this, you wanna know what the current conditions are, if you just tap that reset button once, it'll actually send out to the unit and update this display for you right away. This is powered by three AA batteries, and you can also put in an external uh, DC power supply to this if you don't wanna use the batteries. And this little slot here is for the antenna. It comes with two antennas. It comes with a six inch antenna and it comes with a six foot antenna. This one just goes inside of your safe. But the problem is a good safe with a metal wrap is gonna act like a giant Faraday cage and it may block the Wi-Fi signals from getting to the unit and when the unit tries to send them out, it may block them from getting out of the safe. So they have a six foot cable. This is installed by drilling a quarter inch hole in the back of the safe, feed the unit through so the antenna sits on the outside of the safe and then you can plug it into the unit itself. We're gonna test that because we wanna know how well this thing works when we put it inside of a good safe. We're also gonna run a test on it for temperature and humidity. Let me just plug in this antenna. And now we are ready to go. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since I put that in. Let's give it a good shake and find out if it alerts my phone. 
I'm going to interrupt here real quick. Why did I choose this safe to test the antenna? Well, this is a BFX gun safe by American Security. It's a very heavy duty safe. And what I'm looking for is, will the Wi-Fi signal make it into that safe? And then after it senses something, will the Wi-Fi signal make it out of that safe to get to my phone and give me an alert? This safe has a 3 8 inch solid steel door, has a combined wall thickness of about a quarter inch, and in between the exterior and interior walls, it's actually poured with a concrete fill. So if any safe is gonna block the signal, this one would be it. Now, something I wanna draw attention to is that when people attack these safes, they'll actually knock them over on the ground and try to pry the doors open. Good luck with one with a 3 8 inch steel door though. But even the little ones, they'll throw them in the back of the truck, knock them off shelving. And that's what we're really looking for here is whether or not it can sense through all this metal that it's been jostled and get that signal out to my cell phone. Let's give it a try. Wow, I didn't think that would work, but there it is. The alert was right there on my phone. Through all this metal, it still got the signal and sent me the signal, so I got it on my phone. It works really, really well, even in a high security safe. Let's go try a few other things. If you like this video, be sure to smash the like button. And you know what? If you don't like the video, tell me that too. Hit the dislike button. I want your feedback so I know what kind of videos you want going forward. And tell me what your thoughts are. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did it have some features you like? Did it have features you don't like? Put those comments down below. I'd be interested in getting your feedback. I'm Robert, and you've watched Locksmith Recommended.